Okay, the next thing that I want to install is this uh, Alcantara uh, center armrest extension, uh, which looks super nice. I was uh, watching some videos from Smedia uh, before I bought the car, uh, well, rather while I was waiting for it to be delivered, and uh, I thought it was kind of funny. He was talking about upgrading a lot of the Alcantara stuff in the car because it looks a lot nicer, which I completely agree, but I just thought it seemed silly to need an extension until I actually drove the car and I realized the armrest sits like regressively low if you're uh, really tall. And so uh, this was like a must have for me. Uh, and if I recall correctly, you have to pop off a portion of the back here. So uh, we're gonna hop in here and see how it goes. All right, so it looks like the best way is to just start at the top and just pop a couple of those off the top there. And then just like that, all three screws are uh, easily available. So they just uh, popped off the top there and then you can see the three screws that hold it in right there. See if I can get my light up here. See just three Phillips head screws and then the two guide pins. Should be pretty easy. Simple enough. Just pops right out. And then set this one off to the side. And then obviously got the new one here. Same exact setup. Uh, just gonna pop it back in here. All right, and now that's done, we're just gonna pop this back into place, nice and easy, and all squared away. Cool. And then we'll jump to the front for a view. All right, so now back in the front seat here, uh, and then again, so if I'm sitting at a normal driving height, I gotta put my elbow down, I uh, end up well short of the center console, which is just very awkward as I'm trying to rest my arm for shifting. Uh, so now, first time we get to test this out actually in the car, and then have the armrest at a much more appropriate level. So just going back to my normal driving height, and then, yep, the elbow is like in the perfect corner. I'd say maybe if I set further back just a little bit, but I don't like to drive uh, looking, uh, not looking, but sitting super far back from the wheel and the pedals. Um, I know that's kind of abnormal to some people, but uh, just the way that I drive. Uh, so now that I've actually got this part installed, the real question is going to be if I'm going to end up installing the other Alcantara parts in the car. A lot of people have gone with the Alcantara aftermarket piece that goes here and as well over here. And uh, I have to say that I'm definitely leaning towards doing that, uh, but it will not be a right now problem. Uh, again, I need to get to some work done on my Z28. And uh, unfortunately, as I sit here looking up, I got my SS out there, which is my driver for the most part besides this and as I zoom in nice and slow you can see my right rear shock is hanging beneath the car and I just found that about an hour ago uh, as I was getting ready to work on this uh, I saw that and uh, realized that I was gonna I needed to do what I was planning on doing to this and then the wife's gonna take this to go get her hair cut and when she's gone, I'm going to pull the SS in here and try to work on that, uh, see how bad the damage is, if it's a something that just fell loose and the bolt fell out, uh, or what the case might be. Uh, hopefully it's an easy fix, because I also need to do a bunch of work to my Jeep, because uh, unfortunately we just blew the head gasket, and it's like $1,800 to replace it at the shop. And uh, I wasn't willing to spend that money, so I'm going to bring the Jeep back here, and we're going to work on it in the garage. Uh, fortunately, my wife, since she drives the Jeep all the time, she actually wants to do a lot of the work. Uh, so hopefully I can get some videos of her helping me work on the Jeep and uh, we'll get a couple of things squared away. But for now, uh, she's going to be taking this to go get her haircut and then uh, when she gets back, I'll install the uh, air intake, which uh, should be relatively easy, but we'll see. Uh, I just know it's going to take longer than uh, before she needs to leave to go get her haircut. So we'll be back for that.